my name is Wayne. Today I would like to show you how to make a family recipe, step by step info, okay? And uh, what I'm going to show you to make is in Jamaica, it's a Jamaican recipe, yeah? It's a family recipe. I'm going to show you how to make banana flitters, yeah? In Jamaica we call it flitters, yeah? But in England we call it fritters, okay? So I'm going to show you how to make banana flitters. First I got all the stuff them that I need right here. What I need is uh, the ripe bananas, the one with the freckles on it. Proper ripe ones, you know what I mean? Proper ripe ones. And you need some self-raising flour. You need self-raising flour to pump it up a bit like, you know what I mean? You need a bit of salt. And not to forget the old time nutmeg. You're gonna need a nutmeg. That's my baby in the background crying. And you're gonna need some vanilla. Yeah? And we're gonna combine all of these things together. This is all we need. And not to mention we've gotta fry it up. Yeah, get the pot on and stuff. Get the hot hot. But I'm gonna show you what you need. Just get the banana out of the bowl. This is the bowl. Yeah. Just step by step, so if you want to replay, just replay. Get the bowl, wash it out. I like washing my stuff, make sure everything is clean. Yeah, I'm just using a bit of water, I don't want to use no soap because the bowl is not that dirty. So, what do I do? I get all the bananas and I peel them. Peel them gently. Put that there. Yes. Doesn't matter if they're saggy, saggy, or like you know, saggy like this. Doesn't matter because everything's gonna be used. Yep. Sometimes you can dash with the the ones that are too saggy like this one. It's too saggy. It's not good. But like this banana flitters. Very tasty, and it's healthy. It's very healthy. I, my grandma, grow me up on this, and you know what I mean. When I was little, I used to love banana flitters. When I finished school, I said, "Oh, I'm going to grandma, get some banana flitters." She used to make a living out of this, and now I'm sharing it with you folks out there. It's very tasty, very nice. You just peel all the bananas. I'm going to show you step by step, no camera trick or anything, yeah? Show you step by step, yeah, peel it up, and then just leave that bit there, like that, and then add a bit of flour, add the self-raising flour. Like that. That's about, I don't really need a measurement, but like, if you need a measurement, just about a cup, a cup of flour, full cup of flour, yeah. Little pinch of salt. And little vanilla. Vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla, you see, see the Jamaica flag there? Vanilla. Nearly vanilla. But don't forget one thing sugar. What? You're gonna need brown sugar. Brown sugar. Can't forget the brown sugar, man. Brown sugar, you're gonna need about roughly about two a cup of brown sugar yeah exactly a cup of brown sugar yeah and then I need nutmeg greater nutmeg in there to prevent diarrhea you know when you eat loads of ripe bananas you get diarrhea but like putting nutmeg in this and a tip of salt, it's 
stuffy from having diarrhea. Yeah? Very easy, very simple. Simple, simple. And then I got this, this food. I got a fork. And then I go like this. Come over here, cameraman. And then I beat it up like this. See that? I use a fork. Some people might use something else, but I like the fork. And it's stirry that. Stir it up. Stir it up. Everything together. Everything. Get it right in there. Till it turn into a right nice dough. Keep it stirring up. Till it gets soggy in, in the dough. Look at that. Ah. Beat stuff, beat stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, man. It's turning into a dough. Yeah. Right, dough. And if it's too soggy, if it's too soggy, then you're going to need more flour. It's better to have more flour. Yeah. So that's it don't fall apart. Fall apart and break up. The flour keep it together. So you get it. Stir it up. Just keep stirring. My little boy in the background. Man. Stirring, stirring. Yeah, stirring up. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Stirring up. Get all the lumps out. That's why I use the fork to get all the lumps out. No lumps. No lumps. He can taste it. Lovely, lovely. Give it a nice taste. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's lovely. You stir it up and then leave it to simmer for a while. Leave it to simmer for a while. Yeah, just cover it, put plastic over it or something. Just any to cover. Leave it to simmer for a while, let everything soak in, let it simmer, and then you put the pot on to hot. Make sure the pot is very hot. I'll show you that in a bit. But just leave it to simmer, and then you, you just start doing it. My little boy is crying. I'll get back to you in a bit. I'll show you the other bit. Yeah? I'll show you the other bit when this finished simmer. Cut.